Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Wheel of Fortune Mystic Tarot. My name is Nia and in today's video we will be channeling the galactic beings of the Andromedan star constellation as well as the nebula so that they can deliver some special messages to you. As you can see you have these three groups to choose from today. For group number one we have this lovely card that says Ascendant entrance number 35 and with it we have an amazonite crystal point for group number two we have card number 17 solar flares activate and with it we have this yellow crystal quartz point and for group number three we have card number 37 descendant invitation and with it a strawberry quartz point all you need to do now as always is to focus your attention on today's topic pause the video if you have to close your eyes and take a deep breath and when you think you're ready just see which one of these three groups calls your attention the most do not overthink it, let your intuition decide and then you can have a look in the description box down below where you find the timestamps for each individual group. So I'll see you there. Welcome to your reading group number one, everyone who resonated with this gorgeous ascendant card and the Amazonite crystal point. So we are about to channel the galactic beings of Andromeda to find out what messages they have for you specifically. This is going to be quite an intense pile, I can tell already. So only watch if you're up for that. Intense as in a little bit challenging for those who are maybe new to spirituality and the whole um, extraterrestrial influence thing. Um, just know that this is a reading for the collective, so not every single detail will resonate. Only take what does feel peaceful about what doesn't. It will be for someone else. Sun is coming out a little bit for you, so that's a good sign. And for some reason, I'm paranoid that the camera is not recording, but it is. So let's go guys and yeah I'm feeling very potent energies from the Andromedans that you chose to connect with. The question is did they choose you or did you choose them or is it mutual? There is something about choice. So either you are at a point in your life right now where you need to make an important decision, an important choice. And these beings know. And if you are very spiritual and open-minded, you know, your energy field reaches far beyond <laughs> this earthly realm. And, you know, they hear you and they might want to help you. I feel like they want to give you some direction. It could be that you have many options or distractions right now or that your energies are kind of scattered. I don't know. But they want to give you one piece of very important, clear, sharp advice. Maybe you are not trying to make a decision. Maybe it's just that you are seeking clarity. But look, there is no coincidence. Look how this crystal is pointing that way. And if you look at the card, you have one of these rays clearly, sharply pointing that way. So they're saying, look that way, go that way, do this. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. For some of you, quite literally, they want for you, no matter where you are right now and what you're doing, to look at your left hand side. Look there. What is there, guys? And this is giving me <laughs> goosebumps um, because it could be. And don't freak out. This will only happen if you allow it. OK, and if, if you already suspected, you could have an Andromedan being right next to you where this point is pointing to or... <sighs> They're saying there's a portal or some kind of energy field. And I'm seeing something extremely weird right now on the wall next to me. I recently painted it and I see two gray lines on there. What is that? Guys, check out whatever is on your left hand side. I'm going to just leave it at that. Also, they show me looking... At my wall, I see images that are not there. 
but I use it like, you know, as a screen for my third eye vision. I see um, what I call, I don't know if anyone else calls it that, the mirror of Venus. You know how in um, astrology, Venus has a symbol that kind of looks like, you know, you're holding a mirror, but the mirror is kind of heart shaped. It also looks a little bit like a key. And um, I don't know if you're familiar with Sailor Moon, but doesn't she have an item or like this heart-shaped box that she opens before she transforms. Um, there is something that they want for you to see. And I think um, these beings, they want for you to see who you truly are. And this will help you find direction or make the right decision. This is very, very cool. And Ascendant obviously comes from astrology. This is a very cool astrology deck. Um, but... You know, the ascendant in your chart tells you where you are meant to go karmically in this lifetime entrance. You are supposed to enter something. So maybe these beings are calling you out now and saying it's time to enter in this new stage, in this into this new chapter of your karmic life plan. I have recently done a reading about your life plan and where it will take you if you haven't already watched it after this reading. Um, I definitely see some, some scattered energies or some conflict, but they're going to help you with it. Number three, if you see 333, three, three, it could be a sign from them. They want to help you lift the fog, um, get rid of the clouds, kind of blocking the sunlight for you as in, you know, vision, image. They're going to help you enter something. And I love turquoise. Turquoise is my favorite color. It might be one of yours as well. And this is obviously always about speaking truth and gaining clarity. So um, if that resonates with you, then stay tuned. We're going to check out more. Also, I see blue and green stars. So definitely do stargazing um, and um, look out for bluish, greenish stars. And I'm sure you already have your favorite stars and constellations. Um, but maybe, yeah, look for um, Andromeda. They want to show you. They want to show you and they want for you to channel them. And again, they chose you, you chose them. So I'm going to put this crystal here, just like an antenna. And these Andromedans in this whole reading, I don't know if the entire species is like that, but in this video today, they are all very you know, very colorful beings, very um, communicative. They love to communicate and engage with other beings. And they are quite quite a happy alien race, I feel like. They're very happy. They're happy to help. They're very dynamic. So I'm loving that. I'm loving the vibe. Um, and I know a few are going to ask, probably, this is the Astro, um, no, the Star Code Astro Oracle deck. So let's get some more messages here from the Andromedans. What do they want to say to you? I just love this deck so much. It looks like this is my vibe, rainbow color, stars. It's amazing. And um, the star, definitely do the stargazing. Also moon gazing. Um, and you might have recently developed an interest in astronomy, not astrology, astronomy, the pure scientific, um, rational, intellectual part of it. For those of you who resonate with that, definitely educate yourselves about, you know, star systems, how far they are away, because the more you do that, the more you kind of tune into these energies from a science point of view, <laughs> Saturn. Oh, I'm someone who has a lot of very heavy Saturn um, aspects in my birth chart. So Saturn is about structure. And this is exactly what they are saying here. They want to give you direction. And they are like a teacher to you, like a guide. So if you're still looking for kind of, you know, spiritual guidance um, that is very much intended to educate you and to give you a solid plan, definitely channel these beings. They want to give you structure and educate you. And it could be that your current issue relates to either social situations and relationships, romantic, platonic, family, professional, or to you not having discipline. 
okay so maybe you are lacking a routine you're lacking discipline um they're gonna help you with that they're gonna help you with that Beloved Venus, yes, definitely for many of you, you're struggling with relationships. Could be because you feel like you don't belong here. Could be because you are a star seed or just a wise old soul and you know you can't seem to connect with anyone or you've had a very hard life and your pain and hardships just make it impossible for you to find someone who could relate or be sensitive enough. Um, but these beings, they're so lovely, these Andromedans. They want to make you feel loved, okay? So um, they're, they're very loving teachers. They're not harsh, strict ones. They're, they, they can be, but their tough love is always based on, yeah, genuine, you know, compassion and partnership. So they love you. These beings love you. They're very, very loving. And they want for you to find love, it may be love for life, love for yourself. So you need a combination of love and discipline, like a very caring father. So you could have what they call daddy issues. Um, so problems with fathers, maybe your father abandoned you and you grew up without one. Maybe you lost your father. You have a very difficult relationship with him. These beings know, so they're trying to, to give you that fatherly kind of strict disciplined guidance, but based on love and care. And it will lead to you just loving life more, loving yourself more, loving relationships more. And um, you have to make some changes in your life, though. So you have to get rid of old people. You have to get rid of your own thinking patterns and um you know, the way you deal with everything, they're going to help you. They're going to give you direction there. In what sense? Also, some of you might have recently reached a certain age, which in according to societal standards, um, makes you feel pressured that you should be somewhere. I don't know what this could be. Maybe you have reached an age where people are starting to pressure you into a commitment, like settle down, get married, start a family, or to get a degree or to be more successful in your career, anything like that. Don't let that pressure get to you. Um, I know what I'm talking about. I'm not anywhere near um, where society would expect me to be. But screw that. Screw that. Only think about your karmic life plan. That's the only um, kind of frame and um, system that you should use to kind of not judge or compare yourself, but to... Um, get an idea as to how far have you come, what should you do better. And I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, I get this card all the time. So this is about a home situation, Vesta, the home situation. Um, so 32, you could be dealing with a broken home situation or you want to get out of your home, your old system, and you don't know how you can. Um, so maybe you still live with your family or maybe you live by yourself, but you don't like where you are now or, you know, you feel kind of cooped up and locked up. Or this could just symbolize your thinking patterns and other limitations. They want to show you the way out. They will, okay? And they want to reignite this fire that you have within yourself. And they want to give you hope. You see a literal rainbow out there. There's hope out there. So if you have this longing to be someone else, if you, you wish you had a different life, you looked differently, you were born in a different time on a different planet, um, they know that. But they're saying you are here on planet Earth for a reason. And you just need to find out who you really truly are and follow your your purpose and they're going to show you what your purpose is so definitely channel them this is very very cool and very exciting guys <laughs> if you're still here please leave a thumbs up it helps so much and please comment because comments help other people like you find me if you don't know what to say comment a purple heart 
And if you are new and would like to join the Purple Heart Tribe, please subscribe. I would love that. Love to see the family grow. And now let's get some tarot cards. Um, I'm going to ask you lovely Andromedans. They're so lovely. I like They could be any other gender or I don't know how, uh, if gender exists in the way that we perceive it on planet Earth where they are. But they have this energy of a loving, loving father who wants to give you guidance. Okay. Um, what is the guidance now? Can you please help group number one? Well, I see like a smiley old, like a friendly old grandpa as well. They're showing me like images that help you relate. Oh, that's the three of air. Uh, this is definitely about heartbreak. Okay, they want to help you get over some heartbreak. I told you relationships. So you could um, be grieving the loss of a loved one. Or for some of you... Um, you were abandoned either by well by people that meant a lot to you and that should have been loyal to you so this could have been a cheating partner or um parents that just left you or another family member so anyone here who was or is close to you they really hurt you they hurt you either on purpose or just life caused a situation where you know you are left hurt and heartbroken and they're saying you need to move away from that because you can't change the past you can't change the past don't dwell on it walk away from it and find your own light and I know it hurts to you know have to be independent but you have to be on your own so that you can really find yourself and do not hate your past because you can't learn to love yourself if you hate the past that shaped you practice that it's tough but it will lead to you fixing yourself up again and to finding better relationships oh guys the ten of air in the reverse they want you to be free and this is a like you're going through a lot of pain and you know your pain um issues from the past that you haven't healed it could go quite a long way back maybe to your childhood or it's something recent or it's something that happens all the time this pain um doesn't only drain you energetically it also leads to you being so confused about who you are what you want in life and that's why you're lacking direction and your Andromedans are saying you need to be very structured, okay? You need a plan. You need a self-care and healing plan. Make a plan and stick to it. Cause a routine, make a routine, okay, for yourself. Um, literally get a journal and um, you know how people, there's some lovely tutorials on YouTube, um, have journals um, and they focus on certain problems that they have. Say, for example, that you are someone who struggles with w weight and um, healthy eating and living. Then they make a plan. Have I had enough water? Have I gone for my walk? Have I had my veggies? Have I taken my vitamins? Stuff like that. Do that. It will help you so much. Like you, And then you can tick off the little successes. Have I cleaned up my room? If you have, tick it off. And that will give you endorphins. And you need to do something like that to distract you from this pain. Because it's time for you to move on from this pain. Also, look out for feathers when they appear. Your angels are near or your galactic family, your loved ones. But it's time for you to have a rebirth. And you will get there by just um, being structured and actually looking up you know advice and help on how how to move on and forward you can do it they believe in you and if you wish that you had a go-to person channel these beings they are your go-to person and they might send you amazing signs guys again <laughs> The seven of air, you have all blue cards. I love these cards so much. They are the good tarot. Um, seven of air. This is a very positive imagery here. Um, these beings are saying that you are maybe not quite honest with yourself when it comes to the severity of your issues or you try to run from the pain but it always catches up on you. 
So they're saying it's time to take responsibility and charge. You might think it's too much for you. You can't handle it. They have a lot of empathy for you. But remember, they are this um, tough love guidance father figure. Um, so they're saying, come on, child, you got this. You can do it. Take it easy. Step by step, you can find a way to make it work. And we love you and we're here to support you. Also, I see a little blue bird. They're so beautiful. So... Birds are spiritual messengers, not just from deceased loved ones. Look out for birds and feathers. That's a sign that they are with you. And you need a strategy. You need a plan. You need a strategy. After this reading, maybe look up some, some steps or buy a book. Um, do something. Get it started. They will support you. Because you deserve love and it's waiting for you. You can have it, but you need to kind of want it and show the universe that you want it by, you know taking action let's get some final um galactic symbols cards that were gifted to me by laurie if anyone else would like to send in some cards or crystals i have an amazon wishlist link down below so this is some more advice now from your friends and please if you're still here do let me know if the father figure thing resonates with you. Only if you're willing to share, of course. Review. 34. So we have, I see an alarm clock and um, <clears throat> they are saying, look back, not in anger, like the Oasis song, not in fear, just neutrally look back and you might probably have a lot of regrets in your life and they are saying the life of the soul is eternal but your body's life isn't and they want to help you have a better time here so it's never too late but still make the most out of what you still have left um, from this journey on planet earth and they're saying look back do you really want to continue living like this and um, when you look back gently without judgment, you will see what kind of changes you need to make when it comes to social situations or self-love. They're going to help you. Guys, carefully made plans. Do you get it? They want you to make a plan. May fail or be thrown out the window. Rethink your decisions and plans that are not working out as expected. So... You might have made plans in the past, but you weren't really serious about it or you weren't looking at the right issues, okay? So stop what you've been doing, change it, make better decisions. A wake-up call is a chance to avoid loss, restrictions, negative outcomes or untrustworthy people. You were kind of betrayed here. Be honest about where things are headed. I've told you all of that, guys. Changing track is not a failure. Let go of the idea that you need to stick with something to the end. So if you are considering leaving a toxic partner, a toxic friend, a toxic family, a toxic work situation, go and leave. Go and leave. You can't continue like this, okay? And um, don't feel guilty. And three and four, it's up to seven. So seven is movement. Move away. 26 fortune because luck is on your side they're literally saying luck is on your side and if you empower yourself to get away from this two and six adding up to eight you feel a lot more strong and able to handle daily life and you'll be feeling in your power the wheel of life is turning in your favor the wheel of fortune they know what channel you're on. A win bonus or unexpected boon brings material satisfaction. This card is all about wonderful new possessions, tremendous fulfillment and ambitions being realized. Kindness, gratitude and sharing with others will bring further joy and keep the prosperity flowing, guys. 
they are saying there's a treat waiting for you, but it can only reach you if you let go of the old. So let go of old people, old things and make room for something amazing. Blessings are waiting for you. Have you watched my recent um, what's your next big blessing reading? Do it if you haven't. OK, and just be kind to yourself and to others. Raise this high vibrational energy and you're going to be doing so well. Probably fear is holding you back. But if someone hurts you, leave them. That's what they're saying. So um, if you're still here and made it till the end, then you will for sure have resonated with this. Trust that your Andromedans know you very well. Leave a thumbs up for me, please. Take very good care and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Welcome to your reading, everyone who resonated with group number two, the Solar Flares card, number 17, and this yellow crystal quartz, so gorgeous. So we are about to channel the galactic beings of Andromeda, the star constellation, as well as the nebula, to see what messages they have for you. Just keep in mind that this is a collective reading, so not every single detail might resonate with you. Only take what does feel peaceful about what doesn't. It will be for someone else. I'm out of breath for some reason. <laughs> Excuse that. I don't know what's going on. Well, I do know what's going on, but I can't talk about it on this channel. Also solar flares recently we have had a lot of sun activity nasa speaks about it and then they delete what they posted to the public i wish this platform was censor free so i could speak my truth on the solar eclipse and the solar storms i can't just know that there is a lot more to it than what they say and um yeah if you chose this group, I feel like many of you will have resonated quite strongly with it. You knew right away, this is my group. Um, your Andromedans want to speak to you about current events that maybe go past or like beyond your um, personal situation. This is about galactic and, you know, earthly global fate. This could be about, you know, the spiritual warfare on planet Earth. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, this reading will not resonate with you. If you have no idea that um, there is some spiritual warfare going on on planet Earth, if you haven't seen that, there has been so much evil on this world globally. If you don't understand, pick a different reading. You will not like this. The rest of you, please stay. The rest of you who are going to stay, you are probably light workers and you could be an Andromedan star seed because number 17 is the star in the major arcana tarot. And um, I think we can take the star quite literally. Also, there's a star here at the top and this is the color of a star. It kind of looks like a star um, if you look at it like this, like you guys are seeing it right now. You are probably a star seed and or a light worker and you are here for a reason and now is your time to shine. I really have a strong sense that you are a star seed and if you are not that you are still very receptive to the influence of higher vibrational um, extraterrestrial beings who know what's going on on planet earth and who know that um, they need to give help. Okay so I can see a being here. It's like they are showing what they look like, which is quite interesting. So these Andromedans, they seem to have quite a humanoid appearance with like shoulders and arms and like hips and legs, but they have quite a big head, a very big head and um, their spine. And I've been seeing that from spirits of deceased loved ones recently as well. This I call them energy sticks. That's how recently after a very painful loss, I'm starting to see figures of deceased loved ones in spirit. They look like sticks with wheels or dots on them. And I think they represent the, the chakras, the main energy points in beings. So their energies are thriving. These Andromedans are very lovely, powerful um, entities. 
they are so vibrant and I feel like they work with sound frequency a lot and with color. I didn't say it in group number one, but I could hear them. And the way they speak reminds me, and I don't know what this style of singing is. Please let me know if you do. I know that they practice this in um, Mongolia and Asia. Um, and it sounds quite intimidating, actually. There are some singers on YouTube and they sing from the depths of their stomach or something. And it causes this very like loud and deep toned vibration, like, um, you know, like a cello playing its um, deepest sound, like, oh, like that. I can't do it. But they they use vibrance and frequency to communicate. And with these solar flares, the bad people on this planet who in the media are portrayed as the best ones, they are not, okay, mostly not. They are from the dark side. Those you make these, oh, I have to be so careful, they, in, oh, they use the solar flares as an, as an instrument for their evil doings. But these Andromedans want to let you know that they have instruments as well. And there's a lot going on with, um, I have to be so careful with the authorities playing around with magnetic fields. So if recently you have been feeling very restless and anxious, if you have trouble sleeping, if you wake up with a racing heart or like your thoughts are going insane and it affects your personal life, know that it is because Certain people are experimenting and you're not crazy. Don't let any doctor gaslight you. I am not a doctor. I'm just a psychic medium and I give spiritual advice. So please go seek professionals if there's something wrong with you. But I'm just saying most of them are completely useless. So look for the right one. And let's just get into it before I um, had my own channel here. Um... I love the yellow, I love the brightness. So this is like the bright star and they're saying there's nothing wrong with you. If you feel very sick and unwell, it just proves that you are higher vibrational because you are very sensitive and susceptible to the evil doings that are happening on planet Earth. I'm like that too, guys. I'm chronically ill. And of course, no doctor ever helps me because they have no effing clue about anything. But I know that it's just the way I'm built and the way I'm suffering from the rulers here on this planet Earth. So if you're like me, know that it just means that you are very delicate, very high vibration and something good and help is coming in. And I'm going to place this crystal like an antenna. And I love how the sun is coming out now and we have the rainbows. I might have to... Um, Pull down my curtains in a little while if this sunlight situation is going to interfere too much with the camera but i love natural light so i'll see please andromedans they they're saying you are a shining star you are a shining star they see you so what do they have to say to you um but their main message is you are a shining star there is nothing wrong with you nothing wrong with you Taurus cultivate number two they want they want to let you know you have partners out in space and it's the Andromedans maybe amongst others maybe you are as I said an Andromedan starseed um, but they literally either placed you here on planet earth or they want to support you here on planet earth so that you can help mother Gaia um, get back to life because she's being abused and oppressed by evil people who pretend that they are the savers of the world. They're not. But you are one of, you know, sources help us to help Mother Gaia. So either that could be helping people, helping animals, helping the planet. Mother Gaia's creatures. And you have, you know, supporters out there. Oh my God, heal, guys, heal. I say something, it shows up in the cards. My longtime viewers, they know. Um... Chiron, heal, 28. We have the two symbology again, and eight stands for strength. And there's a snake here. The snake is what's happening 
on this planet. I wish I could drop names, but um, you all know these names. They're constantly mentioned in the media and they are praised. And wow, how intelligent they are and how humanitarian they are. They're not. They want to end us and enslave us. They're not good. And if you're still here, you will understand exactly who these people are and what they do. So you are here to heal yourself and others from the toxicity and darkness that these evildoers spread. If you watch my 2024 astrology predictions reading, you know that it will get a little bit worse before it gets better. But 2026 is the start of the new world and you'll be there. And don't lose faith until then. You have friends out in space who will recharge your batteries because it's going to get a little worse 2024 is going to be no joke evil will be truly exposed so that the last sleepers will understand so it's going to get quite a lot the, the wars that are going on will probably escalate even further there'll be maybe new wars the interference of so-called humanitarians with mother nature and the health system will get more intense but all of that is necessary for everyone to wake up and once everyone has woken up and evil is truly exposed we can reorganize our system and claim back mother gaia okay as good people and act aries they want you to act so I don't know what kind of thing you are doing. It could be so many different things. My form of action is partly what I do on these channels. Your form of action could be anything. It could be your art. It could just be how you help your friends and family. It could be a new business that you are starting. Maybe you have a little um, spiritual shop where you sell, you know, tools and items for light workers or you get into healing or education or into anything that has to do with farming or i don't know but act act they want for you to act they want for you to make a difference and do something and why you think you might be too unwell you're not because i'm very very unwell but i do i found something okay that i can do while being very unwell and so will you they will help you. They will give you some guidance. And remember, you are one of the enlightened ones. And they definitely try to give you many visions here through the third eye. You are a starseed and a healer. And the post guy is just turned up. I hope he's not going to ring the bell. Then I might have to interrupt the reading. If you're still watching, guys, please leave a thumbs up. It helps so much. And drop a comment because that helps other people like you find me. If you don't know what to say, leave a purple heart emoji. And if you are new and would like to join the purple heart tribe, please subscribe. And also let me know what galactic uh, species I should do next. I'm thinking about either Lyrans or Arcturians. So let me know what you would want. But now back to the Andromedans. Please some guidance for group number two about how they should act and heal. The moon. The moon. I have a reading planned um, about the moon. I already have a full moon magic reading if you're interested on this channel. But look, there's a lady sitting here and she's literally sprinkling the stars. Again, you are a star seed. You might not be an Andromedan starseed, but you are a starseed. You were <laughs> sprinkled here on planet Earth to do something, to do the healing. And you were placed here at the darkest time. So if your life has been very dark or if it took a turn for the worst, probably starting in 2020, it's your mission, it's your fate. And the more that you accept it and open up to it, um, the less painful it will feel to you, the less... Um, blockage you will create for yourself so just say yes I was put here in the darkest time so that I can truly shine my light because the light shines brightest in the dark um, assume your position is what they're saying and it will help you and it will help you realize what your gifts are if you still are not sure what your gifts are they will show you I want to ask that actually um, Andromedans what is this group number two starseeds gift 
What's their healing gift? What is their gift? What is group number two's gift? Wow, six of earth. So again, guys, this is confirmation that you are meant to be on earth. If you are an earth sign or you have a lot of earth in your chart, this is again confirmation. Um, but your gift is something that is quite tangible and practical. I don't know why I said that, but it could literally be that some of you are planning to open a shop where you sell crystals or um, maybe herbs, healing stuff, or maybe um, organic food. Maybe you want to start a farm shop or something. Some people here are thinking about starting a shop. Do it if it's for helping people in the highest good. But also I see, yeah, farming here, um, growing plants, um, helping animals or supporting people who do that financially. Um, you are here, your gift is to create balance and abundance with things that you can touch um, and things that will grow into something. Okay, so it could also be people, you know, you will kind of suspect what this is, but this is literally what you came here for. And they're going to give you more downloads through your third eye and crown chakra. Wow, tower, the tower. So if you haven't had your awakening yet when it comes to your gift, it's coming. They're saying it's coming because you still might be wondering. I'm not sure what Nia is talking about or yes, I, I think I know what she means. But, you know, you will have a tower moment, a good one. It will come to you very soon and unexpectedly. Something's going to happen. Something, yeah, surprising where you will be shown what your true gift is and it could be the case that it will triggered by something a little bit uncomfortable you could suddenly meet a person who will help you recognize or something will happen to you that will help you recognize or you might have a very sudden epiphany or for some of you you could have an out of body experience or you might like kind of astral travel it's a little bit uncomfortable, but it's for something very good because I see light shining everywhere. Your tower is stable. It's not going to crash and fall. It's going to be revealed to you very, very soon. If you already know what this is, um, you might very soon get an unexpected offering on how to do more with it. So this looks very promising. Let's get some final cards of advice and maybe revelation um they were gifted to me as all of these cards and crystals so lucky for anyone else who'd like to send me some cards or crystals i have an amazon wishlist link down below so please andromedans some final messages 16 guys i just get excited when it happens rise above 16 do you realize that you're gonna soon rise above you're gonna soon understand i told you crown chakra um open up your crown chakra do some crown chakra opening meditations and also the third eye they will tell you how to go about it what your gift is they might even i don't know give you some abilities you will soon rise above. Very, very soon it's going to happen. Very unexpectedly. Jealousy raises its head and someone may try to take what's yours. This could create an unsettling or rocky time. Keep an eye on your stress levels. Distance yourself from someone else's drama and make time to relax. Keep your plans, thoughts and feelings close to your chest. You will be recognized for a job well done and for handling yourself with grace. So the first few bits could only have resonated with very few amongst you, but here you will be recognized for a job well done and for handling yourself with grace. You might soon change what you are doing for a living, okay? Or maybe your main hobby or something or charity work. Something's coming. They will tell you what this is and it's going to come very fast and very unexpectedly. So just trust that it's coming. It's coming. 
and feel free to share with us if you know what that could be <laughs> prosperity number one magician energy we have this um this reminds me of the angel with three pairs of wings and the all-seeing eye the triangle an obstacle will be overcome and sorted out once and for all starting something new and exciting perhaps a new job guys or project We'll see creative energy flow through like never before. An increased focus on money, matters and investment. Taking risks and being financially assertive could see you in the bigger league. Plan for wealth. So a very um, abundant, prosperous job project thing is coming. Is coming out of the blue maybe. You will know what this is, but maybe you will, you know, as the world gets darker and there is more need for people like you, be doing something that you never dreamt of doing, but be sure that it's going to pay off very well and that it's going to make you feel so fulfilled and your Andromedans know it's going to happen and you'll be working with them. So definitely do the crown chakra meditation, guys. <laughs> wow. If you're still here, thank you so much. I really enjoyed this reading. Leave a thumbs up and take very good care. And I hope I see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Welcome to your reading, group number three. Everyone who resonated with this beautiful Descendant card and the Strawberry Quartz Crystal. Do you see the rainbow lights dancing here? <laughs> I love that so much, how they're kind of spinning. There is no coincidence. So this could be a very colorful greeting um, from your Andromedan friends because we are about to contact them so that they can deliver a special message to you. Just know that this is a reading for the collective. Not every single detail will resonate. Only take what does. Feel peaceful about what doesn't. It will be for someone else. Yeah, but I love the vibe here. Let me again just check the camera if it's still recording. Yes, it is. I'm a bit paranoid about that today. Don't know why. Um, and yeah, just get into it. I love the color scheme here. So that could be what attracted you to this group. Very vibrant, very happy and joyful, passionate and uh, cheerful and joyous. So all the Andromedans today have been so high vibrational and um, yeah, happy. I don't know if all of them are so happy, but the ones coming through today for sure are. And I feel like yours especially are so happy. They love color. They absolutely love color. So if you've been seeing colors recently, lights, orbs, rainbows, or if you dress very colorfully or if you run into colorful things, that's no coincidence. That's just your vibe. And um, it's their vibe. So you kind of attract each other. And if you've been suffering and feeling a little low, definitely get more color into your life. Don't dress dark and gray all the time. I mean, I'm not telling you what to do, but you know, colors work, okay? Colors have an effect on your psyche, on your emotions, on the energy field around you. So dress more colorfully, wear some colorful jewelry. I don't know, paint your room, decorate your room, get some colorful crystals. They're saying color, color, and they're like party, <laughs> party people. For some reason, I mean, they're party people. So they want you to have a little party for yourself. Or maybe you're soon going to have a party. But, you know, guys, there doesn't have to be any occasion um, for a celebration. Just celebrate life and celebrate yourselves. And you might be thinking that this is crazy. Maybe you are actually hurting quite a lot. But they want for you to turn on some music, to decorate your room yourself or just go out into a beautiful location and dance. That's how you can channel them and they will join in and they will do some kind of healing performance around you if you do that. Um, they are showing me kind of trance like dance and meditation. Um, I've been talking a lot about, yeah, Tai Chi and Qigong and kind of any... Uh, martial art or meditation that involves 
body movement, I mean, martial art always does, but meditation doesn't always, move your body rhythmically to music, that will get rid of blockages that you have inside of you. Because they are saying, they see that you have some pain, some physical trauma, and this physical trauma could now have resulted, you know, actually it's emotional trauma that has resulted in something physical. I am not a doctor, okay? If you need medical help, then please consult with a professional. I'm just a medium giving spiritual advice, but many traditional um, ways of medicine do recognize that every physical ailment has a spiritual root cause. And your lovely Andromedan galactic healers, they are saying, dance it out. That's how you purge it. And guys, I sometimes feel so unwell and also, you know, emotionally and physically. And then I play in my violin and I can start. I, I really feel how it makes me feel so much better. And I actually really feel less in pain afterwards. So music is so powerful and so is color all right um so do that also get crystals and sun catchers this is an invitation like these andromedans are inviting you to a party <laughs> you kind of have to decorate and put on the music but they are inviting you let's party together and when you dance and are in that good mood they're gonna come through and kind of they're showing me this image where you have a dense, low energy mass in your body. So that could be something that you actually know of, or it's just blocked energy. And by moving and dancing and having these colors go through your body, you, you, you unclog it, you unblock it. It's like this block that just goes away. So they really, really, really want to help you as an invitation. And they're going to come down, descendant. I know it's based on astrology, but I read everything intuitively. So they're going to they're gonna come down and visit you. I'm hearing noises. So, sorry, guys. You might already have had some visitations from them that you are aware of. Maybe they visit you in your dream. But here, they quite literally are asking you, could you invite us for a little healing party? So if that sounds like something you want to do, definitely do it. But set an intention that you only allow for high vibrational beings of love and light and good intention to come join you. Protect yourselves. Okay, don't invite anyone in. Just these loving, healing Andromedans. Wow, <laughs> this is so cool. Also, look, in here in this crystal, you see these specks of shimmer and glitter. So get some confetti, I don't know, some glitter get a party going. I love touching this crystal. Crystals heal as well, guys. It really does work. And I'm going to put it here like an antenna for you to channel the energy. Now, let's get some more of these star code astro oracle cards. They're really cool. They look like a space party. Have a space party with your Andromedans. Andromedans, what do you want to say to group number three? Pisces, sensitize. So um, you are probably a very sensitive person. Maybe your body is very sensitive and susceptible to outward influences. Um, you don't have to be a Pisces, but this is, again, an invitation for you to open up to their energies, allow them in. They want to come help you feel more happy, less depressed and less sick and less stagnant. They want to unblock this energy problem that you have that is probably visible in your aura. And you are highly um, sensitive, so it would be easy for them to reach you, but they need your permission because everything is based on free will. And definitely, guys, dance. Maybe dance by a source of water, a lake, a creek, the ocean, <laughs> in the shower, whatever you have available to you in the rain, by the flowers. And what we have right now um, is Saturn and Pisces. So globally, the whole vibe is very um, 
Pisces-ish, like very sensitive and intuitive. So take advantage of these energies and um, know that you actually feel something. Again, the Vesta card, 32. This looks like a party location to me. We have this temple, your sacred space. They want for you to create your sacred space where you can burn your incense, light your candles, smudge, put up your crystals, maybe have an altar. This could be outside or inside and where you only allow for positive energies in. And um, this, this could be where you gather with them. They want you to find a dedicated spot for that. Again, this could be anywhere where you feel safe and where you can make it look beautiful and feel comfortable, okay? They want you to make that effort and that's where they're going to come find you and party with you and reignite your fire. Now, let's get another of these wonderful cards. Whoa, Jupiter. Guys, I love this so much. I really love this so much for you. Also, mirrored numbers. Watch out for mirrored numbers. 3223, two, three. that's mirrored. And look at this abundance. And Jupiter is the party planet, okay? Jupiter is generous, is um, sometimes can exaggerate, but, you know, a good party has to kind of escalate a little bit. Okay, here we have food, we have drinks, um, we have purple and we have stars. So make this a routine for you that you have a little celebration daily where you invite them in. And it doesn't have to be massive. It can be something like your morning drink, your sacred morning drink. You know, I don't know what you're having, tea, water, coffee. Just romanticize your life and invite them in for your coffee and decorate it nicely. Pick your favorite mug, sit down somewhere, listen to music or like have a little feast or have a picnic outside. They want for you to have a good time, have a good time They come join you. And then together you will cause this massive energy burst that will purge out anything that is dark and low inside of you and make that a routine and kind of always choose the same spot or the same time that's important to them because it will be easier for the both of you to kind of meet that way energetically but i love this vibe i love this vibe so much if you love and claim this vibe guys please leave a thumbs up it helps so much and comments help so much too. They help other people like you find me. So if you don't know what to say, then leave a purple heart emoji. And if you are new and would like to join the purple heart tribe, please subscribe. Now let's get some more tarot cards here. Please Andromedans, you're so lovely. Party Andromedans. <laughs> Uh, what do you want to say to group number three? And they're saying, don't worry, be happy. That can be triggering. But, you know, what can you do? You still need to find time to laugh and to dance and to move your body and to do nice things for yourself. Please love yourselves enough to do that. Empress. That is the the party queen. You can be a man watching this. But this is the abundance card. It could be for some of you that in the near future, you have an event where you will celebrate maybe an anniversary or a wedding or I don't know what you'll be celebrating. They will be there to join you. If not, again, you don't need a reason to celebrate. This abundance is yours and you're going to generate and attract more if you just show it. Just be abundant with yourself. Music, color, food, nice routines. And if you make that part of you, then you're going to see all the, the pain and the darkness and the leckage disappear. Okay, you are the queen or the king of your own kingdom. And they know and they want you to know and they want to help you grow something beautiful. So feel more beautiful, be more beautiful, wear your jewelry or your, your makeup, like decorate your body as well. Your body is your temple, okay? So create a nice home for your soul and this body while you have it. Messenger of Fire. One of my Swedish viewers 
explained to me that they actually have, or was it Norway and Scandinavia, probably more countries do this. They have this um, lovely, beautiful uh, tradition where a lady with a crown full of candles comes. I think, does she come in winter? Please let me know if I'm wrong, but I think she comes in, in the dark months to kind of bring light to the darkness. So do that, guys. Messenger of fire. Bring some fire in your life and in your energy field. You won't be partying alone. And they, these Andromedans will bring their fire and you will cast out the darkness, literally. They want you to cast out the darkness. They'll help you. Please make it happen. Invite them in. What last tarot message do you have? Andromedans. I love the Andromedans. They are so cool and so lovely and so vibrant. The hermit in the reverse. It is saying, stop being a hermit. Stop it. Get out of your cave, okay? Come out of your shell. Get out of your hiding spot. It's You have spent enough time in solitude. Um, you've been resting for too long. Now get out and have some fun. Um, the keys, you know, they are there to unlock many doors that you think are closed, but, you know, it's it's in your hands. You can unlock doors to happiness and healing and abundance and um, friendship and partnership and love. I don't know what it is, but you need to make the first step and get out and do something. So start a little party routine for yourself. Like I, I have my own. Um, every afternoon, I treat myself to... A nice little drink very often it's a cheeky little cocktail and I really celebrate it and I say I deserve it and then I go to my altar and do things there and I just love it and it raises my vibration so just just do something now let's get some final messages for you of advice from these lovely Andromedans okay 25 sorrow purple this looks like a leash tears frustration disappointment or a loss of direction you realize it is time to say goodbye or move on this sounds a little bit like group number one or two so watch that if it resonated with you in the beginning um Letting go is hard, but it is the way forward. A job, relationship, a prosperity or some other aspect of your life needs to make um, way for something better. Sorry, a property. So a job, relationship, a property or some other aspect needs to go so that you can receive better. Your sorrow will give way to the happiness you deserve. You know, if you want to attract things that make you happy, you need to be happy. And this feeling will attract what you want. That's the law of attraction. Look into it. So definitely do this little party routine. It will unleash your spirit. Okay, it will unlock the blessings. Stop being a hermit, a grumpy or sad hermit. Get out, get moving. And that's how you will attract more of the good stuff that you absolutely do deserve. Disruption. There is blockage from you guys, from pain, you know, these rain clouds. But number 19 is the sun in the major arcana. The sun will come out after the rain, okay? It will come out. So do a little sun ritual. Um, maybe watch the solar flare reading, guys. Was it number two? Watch that. Um, severe weather, wow, or other turbulence may bring a project to halt. Things may feel uncontrollable for a while. However, the turmoil shakes things up, shifts energies and works in your favor. Eventually, you will see a current upset is for the best. Let the storm wash away built up baggage, restrict, sorry, restrictions and situations that have been disappointing and upsetting. Accept the storm, love the storm. Okay, thank it 
for making you, shaping you into the person that you are today. Move on from it and say that you deserve sunshine and happiness now. You've spent enough time hiding away in sorrow. So show the universe that you want to have this rainbow energy, okay? And um, yeah, you Andromedans will support you. And let me know if you have a little routine, a happy party routine. They'll definitely come and, and, and support you as much as they can. So if you're still here, thank you so much for watching until the end. Love you guys. Leave a thumbs up, please. Take very good care and I hope I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.